Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of March the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have Major Arcana Judgment in the reverse position. Next, we have the Knight of Wands reversed, followed then by the Four of Cups reversed. And then we have the Three of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, so here we go. For your overall energy, you have Major Arcana, the Judgment card in the reverse position. Okay, uh, Judgment in the upright position generally speaks of <coughs> a resurrection of something in our lives in some specific area. Something coming back from the past for us to sort of reevaluate and um, uh, giving us another chance to reevaluate or do things perhaps differently in the resurrection. However, when it's inverted like this, this can um, represent there is no resurrection in an area of your life that perhaps maybe you were hoping for or maybe you were expecting. There is, um, the energies are just stuck for now. It doesn't necessarily mean always, but for now, uh, there is no uh, resurrection of the situation. So for some of you, this is going to be good news. For others of you, maybe not so much. It just depends. It's just a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. But there is a lack of uh, resurrection in some area of your life. Now, uh, also, too, sometimes this can sometimes represent making sort of like a bad judgment call on a situation. So maybe for others of you, that's how it's playing out. Now, coming right into the week of the 12th, you have... Um, Mr. Pajama Man in the reverse position. This is the uh, Knight of Wands. Um, this is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this could be a um, uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. But the Knight of Wands in the upright position, this is somebody coming in to make an offer, an exciting offer, a passionate offer, um, uh, so, yeah, even an offer of travel or so forth. When it's inverted like this, however, this uh, can represent maybe there was a message that you were hoping for to come through from someone and it didn't come through. Or this could be you um, not wanting to uh, extend uh, an invitation or an offer towards someone else. This could just be stuck energy. This could be energy you expected to come through for you and it's not going to. Uh, in the beginning of the week, there could it could just be representing a delay. Now, it's paired with the Four of Cups in the reverse position. The Four of Cups upright generally um, speaks of sort of like that emotional apathy where we put our emotions sometimes on hold. We have a disconnect temporary from, temporarily from our, um, from our emotions. However, and this card can often sometimes uh, come up when we've sort of given up hope on an emotional situation that it's going to come through. Um, but it is there and the universe is sort of offering it to us. However, inverted like this can sometimes represent a missed opportunity. Maybe there was an opportunity, didn't notice it, didn't see it. Um, for others of you, this can represent, uh, it points back to the Three of Cups where you're feeling more emotionally sociable as opposed to emotionally um, intimate, if that makes sense. Now, moving on towards the weekend, the energy switch up a bit. We have the Three of Pentacles in the upright position. This is really uh, lovely energy. I like the Three of Pentacles. This is about working in harmony with others. Pentacles are all about the tangible things in life, our security, our finances, those kinds of things. It can represent work, our job, and sometimes for me, the Three of Pentacles represents where we're working in harmony with others uh, toward a goal in our jobs, getting along very well with co co-workers, that type of energy. And the last card you have here is beautiful energy, the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position. This is very nice energy. This is where we're feeling very secure and uh, very financially secure. Maybe some of you are going to come into a raise at the end of the week or um, get some extra money. This is also known as the Inheritance card. Perhaps some of you will be coming into some inheritance. 
beautiful energy. This is feeling really good and really, really stable. It looks like this week, Taurus, maybe not so much on the emotional front. It looks like there's a lot of stuck um, uh, strange energy connected to that. But on the work and financial front, it looks like all systems are go. So it's going to be a good week, it looks like, for you on the finances and, um, and work situation. Okay, I hope this reading helped you, Taurus. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye for now.